You're listening to The Daily Nugget, dnugget.com for March 4th. It is Food Monday, and something very exciting is about to happen, something that I promised a few weeks ago, uh, but we forgot to get around to it. Sorry. I blame Andy. Well, it is. Um, I, I will take full blame for this because my mind is not where it needs to be sometimes. But that's why I, I have am, I just want to interrupt here. Yes, I please. am a food enthusiast. Okay. So oh, Janelle. <laughs> That's Janelle, and uh, we're going to be really concentrating on this. All started from what some something Janelle said uh, a few weeks ago. Mm. Uh, Sam is here, awesome producer, and Jen, the resident mom, who is not mad, just disappointed. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> not yet. Straighten up, kids. Right. I just think you should just pre- be pre disappointed for what's about to happen. Oh boy! Here so, okay, I'm there. I'm there. <laughs> so in the episode a few Mondays ago. Uh, which was the, I got to look for it, hospital potato in a Mexican blanket. So that was, mm-hmm. a, that was a month ago, February 5th. Oh, insane. we've been doing it, this for over a month. A month now. Um, look at that. Season three is in full force. I love it. I love it. We're just getting started. Um, I had made the promise that the next week after that, we would talk about this and now it's a month later. So that's just the timeline <laughs> that I'm in right now. So Janelle... <laughs> Yes, in the sir. in the hospital potato episode, you mentioned um, that some people like to put a certain measurement of uh, sour cream on their potato. What was that? A dollop. <laughs> <laughs> what? You don't use it like that? That is not correct, ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, you know. Is it time for a homeschool moment? Uh, maybe. <laughs> oh, Everybody knows yeah. the jingle. Come oh. on, it's the jingle from Daisy. It's okay, a dollop sing- of Daisy. That's it. Do the dollop yeah. commercials. Do the dollop of Daisy. Yeah. I, you up. know, single. I'm not, I'm not going to sing it so we don't get in trouble. But <laughs> I don't know if we're going to get in trouble. I feel like this is free advertising. Well, although this might not be uh, advertising do- uh, Daisy wants. Yeah. But yeah. It's True. the advertising Daisy's going to get. Right. Yes. Actually, dollop is, dollop is an official. <laughs> Measurement. Double down. That's good. Yeah. <laughs> that seems like it's okay. Hold on. What dollop is or doll, dollop, whatever, you, however you want to say it. Lop, I'm, yeah. A dollop. Yeah. Exactly. It reminds me, like my dad used to say catsup all the time mm-hmm. or wash. <laughs> wash? Oh, that's Oklahoma thing. Instead of wash. Wash. Oh, I thought, well, was, I was, that, thought that was the abbreviation your dad had for wash to shire. Worst to shire. Worcestershire. Worcestershire. I don't think anyone knows how to say that word. Worcestershire. <laughs> the stuff that you put in Chex Mix. Yes. That's what they should just call it. Chex Mix should come out with their own seasoning called Chex Mix seasoning. <laughs> they really should. Chex Mix liquid. Now, yeah. Janelle, you think that... Do- do- now, now you're getting me to say dollop. Uh-huh, I know dollop. it's dollop. <laughs> Thank you. You're saying that dollop is an official measurement. It I'm is. not sure. It- what? Show your Show your work. Oh, okay. Here you know, go. this is a very, we are a very, okay. <laughs> putting your cell phone up to it is not. Yeah. <clears throat> Showing us your cell phone that we can't read. So. Yeah. <laughs> well, it, okay. So most people are not familiar with this baking term, but it's legit. And it actually represents about a tablespoon. Yeah, I'm about. Now, I'm, I'm not one of those serious bakers. I mean, I love food. Vegan style, of course, but uh, we still use tablespoons, you know, sometimes. <laughs> so it's are they organic. Wow. Well, well, you don't, you don't have a lot of things that uh, are you can dollop. You can't dollop some carrots. You can't dollop your well, like, uh, your copious amounts of broccoli. No, well, dairy, dairy is not something you're allowed to have as a vegan, correct? Uh, well, there's almond milk. Uh, believe it or not, there is non-dairy uh, sour cream and there cream is. cheese. Why? <laughs> so that us vegans can have an alternative. But, but if you're so concerned about not doing it, why don't you just say, fine, I don't need these things. Well, I do. I, I, w- I would you hold. Eat potatoes and broccoli every day. So, I do, yeah. yeah. So let's just go. Let's go to the potato. Since we were previously referencing potatoes, you could have a dollop of potatoes. It wouldn't be very what? much. What? I don't think you can. 
<laughs> Previously on right. Hospital Potatoes. You cannot have. <laughs> All right. You know what, though? All right. I- I'm what? giving you a hard time, Janelle, because yeah, I know you. Are. it's not an actual measurement. Let's all agree with that. It is. It's it an, is. It, no, it's not because it's not. It's not specific. Okay. Have it's, you ever? It's about a tablespoon. That's not a specific it's, measurement. It's, it's, it's a guesstimate. And Andy, you know, I I've seen you try to cook before, so I know you don't get it. No. Um, sometimes you just need around that much. But so, like the like, like the pinch, right? I don't know what a pinch yep. is. A pinch of salt. Pinch. What is a pinch of salt? So, so I, I know. I know that one too. A pinch. There's like a pinch, like, but like when I'm teaching my kids to cook, I say things like use, use a three finger pinch. So these three fingers. Okay. Your pointer, all your right. middle and your ring finger. Now and we're involving thumb. all the fingers. So, okay. And then four finger. And the thumb. Is just the big. You've got to hold it the somehow. Fifth. All right. First off, the episode is titled mm-hmm. three finger pinch. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. And, you lost me after everything after that. <laughs> and just for our serious bakers out there, it is one sixteenth of a teaspoon. A That's pinch. what a pinch is. Yeah. All right. Well, what about? I did not know that. Well, what about? The, okay, so I found I'm not a baker. I, I found a website for some other terms of measurement, like okay. slather. Mm, that's that's a, a generous amount, usually referring to the immersion of the whole item or covering the whole visible area. All right. Like slathering a cake in frosting okay. or a rib in barbecue sauce. Are there okay. vegan ribs, Janelle? Probably, but I don't eat I'm them sure either. I'm sure Janelle has ribs. <laughs> is there like a is there like a, a tofu version Vegans of a rib ribs. where They're it's just kind human. of formed? I know hey. there's a tofurkey. Have you had a tofurkey, a turkey, tofurkey, turkey? No. No. No, no. Huh. No, I don't. I don't even eat I vegan meat. I have actually had tofu. <laughs> it is terrible. <laughs> because here's why, and this is this is a real deal. So oh, not boy. every vegan is like me. So just FYI, I uh, cannot eat soy, and that's what tofu is made out of: soybeans, edamame, things like that. I cannot eat that because it causes a. To it? No, it just causes a severe reaction within my body and I don't like it. So uh, I avoid those things. I mean, I could eat it, but then it, it would just not be good for me. Would you call yeah, it? Then she breaks out in like interpretive dance. <laughs> <laughs> I do odd things. That's what I was feeling. I feel I was feeling this is some sort of mental thing that happens where Janelle eats, <laughs> accidentally eats some tofurkey turkey. And then we, we see that in, you know, the Perry, the town Perry, Oklahoma, there was uh, some rampage of somebody that, no. that hit that went around and knocked off every mailbox with a baseball bat, yelling, <laughs> hootie, hootie, hoo! <laughs> <laughs> oh, she's on edamame again. Oh, boy. <laughs> she's on the hard on stuff. Edamame. <laughs> Get her off the edamame. But... Back to the measurements. Let's go there. <laughs> All right. Well, a smaller term of measurement is a tad. Okay. Mm-hmm. I get it. Quarter teaspoon. Mm-hmm. A tad became a popular way of describing the addition of just a bit of something. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. uh, three typical pinches of said substance. A three-finger pinch. Well, <laughs> well, if you will. And, and I have know you, you will, Sam. <laughs> have you ever heard of a teacup? I've heard. Uh, is that I'm a right measurement? Me. People cool. use that as a flower measurement, supposedly. Well, yeah, that's where the cup comes from. Okay. So you think people use teacups instead of actual measuring cups? Well, some do. It had to start from somewhere. Yeah. I just feel I just don't know the situation where someone's like, "Well, I don't have uh, measuring cups, but I got some teacups." <laughs> Pinky up. <laughs> well. Well, it could be all their measuring cups are dirty. I mean, you know that the invention of the measuring cup. You know when was that? When was the measurement? There you go. While you're looking that up, here, here's another measurement. It's a gill. Oh, yeah. How much is that? So you've heard of gill before? Because it says this is an older term. If you crack open an old recipe book, you might happen upon gill. Watch out. Gill's in the, <laughs> gills in the recipe fish? book. Is it a fish dish? Is no. Oh. Uh, it's, a, it's about a half cup, I guess. The measuring okay. cup was invented... In 1896. Wow. 
So almost 1,900 years before that, they didn't have measuring cups. Believe it or not. So I was for sure it was after my mom was raised. Because that's <laughs> all she knows how to do. That's how she taught me to cook was oh, boy. just a little bit in there, just a dash of this, just a little tad, a little sprinkle, a little dollop, a little something. And I'm like, I'm you a scientist. This is why I'm a better baker. Okay, I want an exact measurement so it comes out the same every time. That sounds I'm like, like let my me just wife. write down some of your, your recipes. How how do you make this? What's in it? She's like, I don't know. I just throw things in there. Well, that's not helpful. And I bet your mom's a delightful cook. She is. Because those yeah, are the, had to be. The, the people that cook rarely measure things. Like they'll say right. it's about this or, but the bakers right. are the exact ones, but I've baked a couple of times and I've done things little fast and loose and they turned out just mm -hmm. fine. I don't believe you on that. But okay. uh, so uh, Jen, you know did, your, true. did your mom teach you the three finger pinch? <laughs> Or was that something that you picked up? Why are you it making up? it sound weird? What's wrong with you? I, I don't cook. What I'm trying to figure out if you? this is a no, thing. Answer the question. What is wrong with you? <laughs> Believe me, if I could tell you, maybe it's because okay. I have soy. <laughs> the edamame. Watch Andy's out. tripping on. Andy's tripping on tofu. Edamame. <laughs> did, we, did we talk Edam about smidgen? That's an actual mm -hmm. measurement. Or smidge smidge whoa yeah. okay you're yeah, getting mad smidge. at me for saying three finger pinch but you're just throwing out smidge like it doesn't sound just really awful <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't about the term it was the way you said it <laughs> oh oh <laughs> you don't be now, clear here now you're turning into mom i don't like your tone of voice mister exactly <laughs> your tone of voice your body language and the words you're saying do not line up sir so well, <laughs> okay smidge According to the internet, <laughs> a smidge is a basically thumb and finger pinch. So we've already talked one about one finger it, pinch. Two finger. Yeah. So yeah. okay. So if this is so, if two fingers you're not is counting a smidge, your thumb, you're not counting your. Oh, you guys are the worst. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> so so two fingers is a smidge. Three is tridge. <laughs> Probably no. I don't no. know. Sam was the one that introduced Your, your that. understanding of language is poor. <laughs> <laughs> it's breathtaking. I know. Hey, uh, let, let us know if you um, have an obscure measurement that you enjoy. And uh, let us know about your uh, favorite uh, pinch. <laughs> Nugget hate mail. Go up on down to our email. <laughs> there you Gmail. go. Oh, boy. <laughs> wow.